Let me make one thing perfectly clear. As I'm recording this, Kaisa is just about two hours old. So this is very premature, which is, I suppose, kind of the point. This is day one after all. And this is all just my opinion as of this moment. But with that out of the way, what do I think of K this new character, Kaisa, at the moment? I knew from the start that I needed a lot of hands-on experience, so this is, of course, not my immediate reactions to her as a character. Because I needed to try her out first. Most of all because of her passive works. Hold on, I'm just gonna defend this. I can show you guys what her kit looks like, I suppose. Keep forgetting about that, oops. <laughs> Well, I'm not entirely sure what kind of build you should go for. Because, of course, she has these... If she has a lot of... I think, yeah. it's If she gets 100 bonus attack damage, she gets this thing. 100 ability power, she gets this. And 100% attack speed. And I'm pretty certain you want them all, right? I suppose that was kind of the point. So you're gonna have to build a lot of weird stuff. Sort of like various with Ginsu's range, play Blade of the Wind King, stuff like that. I haven't tried. Yep, Witch Stand is probably not good because it doesn't give only gives you attack damage. Sorry, attack speed. But this character, at least when she has Ginsu's, is goddamn nuts. <laughs> Because her passive is the kind of like silver bolt, so if you attack a target, you get stacks, and when you get five, it deals bonus magic damage. And with. Oh, hold up. Stop rooting me, goddamn. And with Kinsus, you get two pro procs at once. And with your W maxed, you get three procs immediately. And did I mention. If you get max procs on a target that is a champion, <laughs> it immediately starts again. Like I said, like silver bolts. No cooldown or anything. You can just keep on doing it. So, I think Blade and Ginsu's is really good. Probably. Like I said, they won. <laughs> like maybe Black Cleaver or something like that might be decent as well. <sighs> Hoping I could get the Ginsu thing. Oh, now, now it came up. <laughs> of course. It's a bit hard to see because these minions die immediately. But regardless, I think it's really good. Can warp back here. And of course, the text is in a way then. Well, one. Let's see. One. Yeah, I procs twice. Good stuff. So is this character good? Apart from the fact that I'm not entirely sure how you should build her to bin, because I assume you'd want all three bonuses. And I'm not even sure if she's a top laner yet, but or if she's going supposed to go bot. I think she's supposed to be because her passive, she gets her passive from. Allies immobilize in effect on a champions at one stack of plasma. Yeah, exactly. So, if there was a Janna here, for example, and she queued this, of course she disappears when I'm supposed to talk about. And if she like queues her, I could ult in because I'm pretty certain I can ult to everything that has plasma on it. That be my passive. Why am I walking? I'm just gonna kill one more time. And of course, hard CC is your biggest weakness. Then again, you might do enough damage that it doesn't really matter. Also, you're still relatively squishy, and if you go with this build, your attacks aren't gonna do that much damage. But we're still in the experience phase of that. Don't ask me about rooms, I don't know. <laughs> I went press to attack because, I don't know, she could probably go. Uh, sorry, not press the attack. Press the attack works too. 
But you could go press the attack. Maybe even comment, I'm not sure. But the big question is, is this character good? I have a prediction, if you will. She is probably on release, gonna be very strong. And then they're gonna nerf her. <laughs> of course. And then she's gonna be enter that state. Well, pros are really good with her. But not necessarily so cute because it's gonna have a pretty high skill cap and all that bullshit. Like Callista. But does that mean she's gonna be weak? Not entirely sure. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a pretty key statement to this whole thing. I have no idea. <laughs> Things could go so crazy. I'm not afraid of being wrong though. I was with uh, the new Swain. And I'm not afraid to be wrong again. It's like, I'm a pioneer. At this point in time, I don't think even you could f fit the number of people that have played this character in... Maybe not a room, but a house. But do I like her? I'm pretty certain. I think she's fun. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can... Can I ult to minions? No, I can't. Yeah, the thing that sucks about the W is it doesn't go through minions. Let me see now. If I can, can I? No. <laughs> Shit. Once more. Damn it! Oh, oh no no no! I'm gonna die. Stop! 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 stop. Oh shit! <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> Easy shit. <laughs> yeah, I I actually kind of like her. She's weird, sure. But my kind, I believe. We'll just have to see how things develop. But I think she definitely can be really strong in the right hands. I'm just probably not one of those. <laughs> Is all I mean. Also, before, before I finish this, I have to give credit to whoever did. Oh, I keep forgetting to use my... <laughs> I have to give credit to whoever designed her splash art. It is gorgeous. I know we like to take especially splash arts for granted, but these guys are pros. I mean, obviously because they're getting paid for it. But holy shit, her splash is beautiful. The color, the s her face, and God, it just looks magnificent. I love it. But her in-game model looks... doesn't live... quite live up to it. <laughs> but regardless, these are just the day one thoughts that I've gathered. We'll just have to see how things develop. I look forward to it. I'll be playing the shit out of her once it comes out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.